Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in Phoenix, Arizona watching a capacitor bank upgrade. Our participating utility is Arizona Public Service and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now the capacitor bank is up on the pole to the left of the screen here and capacitor banks are used for VAR compensation and to increase voltage when needed. This new capacitor bank will also have two-way communication with the Distribution Operations Center. So let's listen into the, the pre-job briefing. To put the sensors on, we get our sensors put on, we get it all rigged and ready to go. And so once the guys get in the air, they don't have to wait a lot. Um, as far as the uh, task assignment, Buck and Kenny are going to be in the bucket doing the aerial work. And as you can see, uh, that that uh, bank there, you know, we're going to install the new 1200k bar bank but smart grid upgrades, and we're also going to have to bring the pole spec up to spec, the pole up to spec with uh, the rapture protection. I, I believe what we're going to do is we're going to end up uh, rolling this bank around to the other side, put that PT on the south. So now what the crew is doing, as explained by Dave in the pre-job briefing, is they are attaching some sensors and also some raptor protection to this new capacitor bank that will go up on the pole. One of the reasons for replacing this is to add some electronics for smart grid deployment, which we'll explain later in the video. Now Dave will tell us about using a phase ID. It's all set up to go. All you gotta do is hang it on a line mm -hmm. and you'll get an uh, orange light or yellow and then let it set there and it should go to green and then it, ha it has its read so bring it down to me it'll stay stuck on the screen it'll no, well, it'll it just stay like right like this yeah. the light's going to stay on green okay, okay. and then that means it picked up its reads bring it down and i gotta push this button and get all the reads all right. and now here they are up in the bucket using that phase id to determine if the phase attribute is correct so they'll do that for all three of the lines also going to use an amp meter to check amperage on these lines. Another zero. Looking for readings of zero. Looks like it's on. Looks like... And now we're going to see them open up these switches or cutouts so they can remove that bracket with the switches. See them doing that here, pulling it away from the pole. And that will allow them to remove the old capacitor bank. And now we see them actually strapping in the old capacitor, strapping it and clipping it onto the boom so they can drop that down. You're going to see it Good. swing away from the pole here. Swing away just a little. Swing. And bring it down. We'll take another view from the ground, see how it comes uh, down using that boom and uh, we're gonna lower it into a pickup truck on the ground. And now let's see what one of the other crew members on the ground is working on. Three cutouts, okay, on here, and there's three separate, we call them tiles, basically a breaker on there okay. that they'll attach to. And so here he is finishing those cutouts, so that assembly will be ready to bring up onto the pole. Now we're going to see them use the boom to lift the new capacitor bank into place. Again, this has all the sensors for smart grid technology and also has a potential transformer, a small cylindrical device on the end. Also notice they're putting it on the other or south side of the pole this time. It's going to drop down some controls for smart grid deployment. See that meter on the pole there and you see the feed coming down from above. And as we take another look at that meter, let's listen to Buck up on the pole tell us about what this changeout does for APS. Right, so basic line work, boys. You guys have all done this. Ain't nothing to get excited about. It's just changing the capacitor out for the new capacitor. After this, though, we're going to have the capability uh, because we didn't have the control wires. And as you know, this is our PT now is mounted on this capacitor bank where the other one was mounted on the pole. That's what caused a lot of our problems, and we need a six conductor control cable from the junction box down to the control control box. And the old ones have five conductors, they were missing one wire to be able to work on that ground current sensor. So we had to get these new banks with the PT mounted on the rack and a six, six conductor control cable. 
And now all it is is just firing up a capacitor, hanging the cutouts, doing all the grounding, and uh, we'll put it online and run it to its porches. And now we will see our crew complete those tasks that Buck was talking about, adding new hardware onto the pole. See the new capacitor bank is at the foot of this video as we see the various tasks, hanging new cutouts here, wiring up those cutouts. And here you see all three cutouts on one side open. Here he's going to reach up and open the cutout on the other side of the pole. And now some good close-ups of wiring those cutouts. And after that, going to connect to the lines. And then we're going to see him put up an antenna, a communications antenna for the smart grid communications. And as we come back on the following day to see our completed new capacitor bank, you see the raptor protection. I swear no audio has been doctored. Those are actual birds happily protected from the lines. With that, you have seen our TND How video on a capacitor bank upgrade. Our participating utility was Arizona Public Service, and this video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, as we zoom in, a reminder that capacitors are used for bar compensation and to increase voltage when needed. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.